Today, we're not going to talk about any electronics. The reason why I made this product review is very simple. I love this chair very much. It's called the Habata E3 Ergonomic Office Chair. The Habata E3 is by far the best ergonomic chair I've used for this long. Personally, I've tried a few other chairs in recent years, and now I can say that I couldn't really find a better alternative for this chair at this price point. But I know some of you have found this video because you have already bought one but would like to see a complete assembly process. So before getting started, we're going to show you just how easy it is to assemble. Well, the shipping package is quite big. Before we unboxed it, we were also concerned that the assembly might be a big hazel. But when we took out all the components, things became much easier. There's a fine assembly instruction attached in the package, which clearly shows us all the components we got at the beginning, how to assemble the chair step by step, and also includes how to use it with the multiple addressments. And please note that the model we got here is a Supreme version of the series, so there are some better components or materials only designed for the Supreme version, such as the aluminum alloy bracket and that all-in-one base. Let's start with the assembly. First, insert the separate casters into the chair base leg. Then turn over the base and insert the gas cylinder. So far, in the steps that we mentioned, no tool is required. Probably you've noticed that the footrest of the model we got has been installed. So if you receive the package with an installed footrest, you can just skip the footrest installation here. If not, you have to insert the footrest at this point. Then fasten the arms under the seat cushion, which requires using the B-type screws and a wrench. Thankfully, all the tools were included in the shipping package. And now fasten the tilt mechanism with type A screws at the bottom of the seat cushion. Then you are able to insert and attach the backrest to the tilt mechanism. Here, you will need to fasten it with type C screws. Now let's insert the base into the tilt mechanism, and we are almost done here. It's easier to turn over the chair body and lift the base to complete the insertion. And here, we are down to the final step. Connecting the headrest to the backrest, fix the headrest with the Type-D screws and tear off the protective film on the joint cover. Then the whole assembly process is finished here. Well, I've been using it as the chair in my office. Generally, I have to sit in a chair for more than 7 hours each working day, sometimes for more than 4 hours straight. However, sitting on it is very comfortable without feeling any fatigue. What's more impressive is the lumbar support system. The elastic 3-zone lumbar support has a perfect angle to fit my wrist curve. Not only the elastic mesh fabric part against my lumbar helps me sit upright, but also the double frame support hugs on both sides to correct and stabilize my sitting posture. The 3-zone support increases the protective area of the lumbar and fits quite well with proper flexibility. And it comes with a leather fabric, which is also pretty comfortable. Another reason why I love it is the support of multiple adaptive adjustments. In addition to the liftable tilt mechanism, the backrest and the headrest can also be addressed up and down for the best fit for users' bodies. And the headrest is not just available for up and down, but also have 20 degree rotation adjustment. And the depth of the cushion can also be addressed. When sitting on a chair, the user can pull up the first control rod to let the cushion slide forward while leaving the seat and pulling up the rod again, the cushion will restore back. And the chair also support backward lying at a maximum angle of 115 degrees. Or using the second rod, you can lean back to the fixed angles of 90 degrees, 100 degrees, or 115 degrees. At the same time, you can pull out the retractable footrest to find the best position for taking a break or napping. In addition to the excellent fit for your body, the 3D armrests are also addressable. It can be raised or lowered within a range of 8cm, slide forwards or backward, or even rotate to the left and right sides. And please note that other models of the series are only liftable but do not support slide or rotate at the Supreme version. The point of such addressable armrests is to allow you to keep your arms in the correct position and less prone to getting injured due to prolonged incorrect posture. The surface of the chair which is in contact with the user's body is made of a high elastic nylon net, which is also one of the key upgrades of the Supreme version. 
The material is breathable and prevents your body from heating up or sweating easily while sitting. On such a hot summer day, the breathable surface no doubt is a better choice. Apart from the more breathable surface, another great update is aluminum alloy used for the bracket and the base. It allows for greater support while remaining relatively lightweight. Overall, in my daily experience, the Habata E3 Supreme Chair was perfect for easing my pain in the office. I can clearly feel that I could concentrate more on my work due to a more comfortable sitting position. Now, I truly believe that a good chair is more than just for comfort and health as it would keep me focused and productive, keeps my back and neck supported well, and allows my limbs to move freely. And the Habata E3 did all of these for me. This is something I didn't expect before. A chair could boost my patience and improve my working environment and making things much easier. There should be more information of the Habata E3 on their official website. We hope the video helps and thank you for watching. This is Will from Gizmo China. See you next time.